Now, with regard to stages of fibrosis, the liver is an important organ that clears toxins and helps you to digest food and nutrients. The hepatitis B virus lives in your liver and can cause damage resulting in acute or chronic inflammation. Scarring develops in the liver as part of the wound healing process. And as the liver becomes progressively more damaged, this scarring or fibrosis increases and is categorized into five different stages. Stage F0 describes a liver that has no scarring. Stage F1 describes a situation with mild scarring starting around the edges of the liver lobule, which is the smallest working unit within the liver. In stage F2, we see that scarring has progressed and extends beyond the edges of the lobule, indicating significant fibrosis. At stage F3, the fibrosis has advanced to where bridges of scarring extend from one lobule to the next. This stage has also been called bridging fibrosis and may eventually lead to stage four fibrosis, also known as cirrhosis, where extensive scarring throughout the liver results in the liver taking on a nodular appearance and a harder texture rather than the smooth appearance of a liver without cirrhosis. Once cirrhosis or stage four fibrosis has developed, Many changes can develop in the blood circulation into and around the liver, resulting in an increased risk of serious complications such as bleeding from varices, which are enlarged veins in the esophagus, ascites, which is an accumulation of fluid in the abdominal cavity, or hepatic encephalopathy, which is altered mental status related to the buildup of ammonia in the brain due to shunting of blood away from the liver. Patients with cirrhosis are also at increased risk of liver cancer and need screening and surveillance for this purpose. The goal of treatment in chronic hepatitis B is to stop the virus from multiplying, stop liver damage, as well as inflammation, and stop or reverse the scarring that leads to F4 fibrosis or cirrhosis.